gentlemen, please meet the Nokia Asha 500. It was a gadget lover's paradise in Abu Dhabi this week when Nokia unveiled its first tablet computer, several large smartphones and a number of other new products. For the company's head of devices, the Middle East was an obvious destination for the Nokia World Show after previous events in countries like the UK, Spain and Germany. We deliver great products to people all around the world. And so for many years here in the, the UAE, this has been a major hub for us, serving India, the Middle East, and the African markets. And three of the products we announced today, these ASHA products, are specifically targeted at those markets. So it was a great opportunity to share some of the products that are specific for people in this region, while also signifying that this region is an, an ongoing area of great importance for our company. This is Jitex. It's Dubai's major technology exhibition aimed at buyers here in the Middle East. Now, it's been running for around three decades, but it's still growing. This year, there are 10 to 15 percent more international exhibitors than this time last year. So what's attracting these big international brands to this region? We've seen a big surge in security threats in the past years. And the Middle East has a special nature, let's say, because most of the attacks are not only financially driven, uh, it's, a, it's a hot zone, so you get uh, uh, a lot of attacks which are driven by other reasons than financial, be it uh, uh, belief-wise or uh, you know, uh, people that have other uh, targets in mind. Today we have becoming a major player in Middle East ICT industries. So in Middle East we have around 4,000 employees and our revenue last year have reached 2.1 billion US dollars. So if you look at these figures, we are one of the biggest regions of our overall business. But whilst these big global brands are lavishing plenty of attention here, famous Middle Eastern technology brand names don't exactly trip off the tongue. The actual industry has uh, grown so much. In the Dubai's Internet City is one of several government-run free trade zones here in the Middle East to have set up an innovation hub or high-tech business incubator in the last year or so. Majid has high hopes for one called In5, which offers cheap setup costs and subsidized rent to promising startups. We are living in one of the fastest growing areas around the world. You know, we're showing huge potential for growth, which is showing huge potential for development. Uh, skill uh, earlier migrated through different locations around the world. Now they are not, they are located here. And we believe that this will result and more individuals venturing into this area and hopefully this resulting into a, the next breakthrough. So when you want to add an expense, it's actually backed by machine learning and geo-targeting. One company recently accepted into InFive's program is Wally, which has developed a personal finance mobile phone app that's gained 300,000 users in just a few months and attracted close to half a million dollars investment so far. Whilst it's not guaranteed they'll stay here, the location remains attractive. All the global leading companies are based here in Dubai. I mean, they have major offices here. So, and as well as recruiting talent, it, it makes it a lot easier to, to get people to, to join you if you're based in a place like this. Being based out of the U.S., uh, Silicon Valley, it's definitely something that we consider all the time. But we just haven't reached any obstacles just yet where we felt we were limited by where we are. So a culture of innovation is being kindled, but with the UAE placed 38th alongside Croatia and Costa Rica in the latest Global Innovation Index and no other Gulf country in the top 40, for the moment at least, it's likely that the region will see more events like this than presentations of major Gulf innovations elsewhere on the world stage.